Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, last week Melania Trump organized the state dinner for French President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Brigitte. And Mrs. Trump got rave reviews. Well, she should. In fact, Macron gave it three stars on Yelp. Le food, le décor, c'est excellent. <laughs> Only problem, le président was, how you say, handsy, still washing off the bronzer. Hashtag, moi too. <laughs> but, he's got a lovely voice. But uh, at Prey the Visit, uh, Bridget Macron said she really liked Melania, but was worried, saying, she can't even open a window at the White House. She can't go outside. She's much more constrained than I am. I go out every day in Paris. <laughs> Way to rub it in, Bridget. <laughs> That's like on Christmas morning, Ebenezer Scrooge heads over to the Cratchits and tap dances in front of Timony Tim. <laughs> God bless me, everyone. Hacha. <laughs> so, is the First Lady a prisoner of the White House? Here to tell us, live, via satellite, please welcome First Lady Melania Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on the show, Madam First Lady. My pleasure, Stephen. And congratulations on the success of the state dinner. Thank you, Stephen. I know there were doubters, but as Abigail Adam once said, how you like me now? <laughs> well, that sounds like her. Well, the dinner certainly looked beautiful. Oh, no surprise there, Stephen. As a model, I spent years looking at dinner. <laughs> well, I can understand that. Now, Bridget Macron had a good time hanging out with you. She says that in private, you have a strong personality and laugh easily, but you're, you're more constrained in public. Oh, that is not true, Stephen. I show the public all of my emotions. Here is my happy face. <laughs> now, my sad face. <laughs> happy, sad. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. But, but she is certainly concerned. She, she says that you're so constrained in the White House, you can't even open a window. Oh, fake news, Stephen. There is no need for me to open a window. At least until my hair grows out long enough for Emmanuel Macron to climb up and save me. <laughs> Grow! Now, some people worry that you're not close to your husband, in part because of this video where he goes for a kiss and is blocked by your hat. Oh, Stephen, that is ridiculous, which is why I am laughing so hard. <laughs> I just happen to enjoy high fashion. In fact, I bought a new hat today. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh, oh. Ow. It's lovely. It's lovely. But on Fox and Friends, your husband said he didn't even get you anything for your birthday. He just got you a card. Oh, that's true, Stephen, but it was a very nice card. It's platinum. <laughs> yes. It's like the one he proposed with. The <laughs> family show. The family CBS, madam. CBS. Now, that's quite romantic. Um, now, I know you've, you've, you've got to go. You're a busy woman. Oh. But just one last question. Last week, Madame Tussauds unveiled a wax figure of you. Do, do, do you think it looks like you? No. She looks nothing like me. She looks more like a wax figure of that stupid actress who plays me. What is her name? Uh, Lisa Spumonte or something? <laughs> Stick to singing. And the, the figure's... The figure's smile is way bigger than anything we've ever seen from you. Oh, well, she doesn't live in the White House. <laughs> Profound. But they did get one detail right. Wax Melania won't hold Donald's hand either. So you like it? Oh, yes. I'd even like to borrow it sometime to fill in for me at events. I thought you said it didn't look like you. Well, it looks more like me than what I'm using now. It is a mop with googly eyes. 
Melania Trump, everybody. Madam First Lady, thank you so much.